Yeah, what's up you guys? This is Godson and today we're doing some more Kings of Clash. And we're actually gonna fight Mega Empire. So you guys, it's my turn to start off. Let me go ahead and attack. I'm gonna be using the uh, Go We Wipe. I like to call it We Go Wipe, but whatever your flavor. So the way I do it is I like to attack from the top, especially with these types of bases. Uh, and it looks like Clayton has his balloons, Valkyries, and Witches all bunched together and they're coming out the clan castle. So what I do is I like to lead them all to the corner up here and then gather them up for my wizards to splash them. But it is kind of hard with those Valkyries because they do such good damage and they're hard to take down. So I throw in my golems and I like to spread my wizards out so that the P.E.K.K.A.s and my heroes go right for the middle where I'm trying to direct them to. Now again you guys, uh, the way I use this composition, if you looked at my other videos, I don't really care for using wall breakers because the P.E.K.K.A.s are really good at chopping down walls by themselves. So it takes them about, I don't know, was it four or three or four hits? If we have two of them on there, so they're working their way in and we make it into the base. Now this is the hard part because the Teslas and all the weapons are going to be targeting my troops. So that's why I bring a jump spell because it's harder to get your P.E.K.K.A.s inside there chopping down those walls. And so, we're in there. The king is targeted by that infernal tower. I couldn't touch it in time. That's just the way it is. Uh, sometimes you can't really see the health bar on your heroes because of the troops in the way. And uh, But this one, I was still able to get some sort of attack going and get the 50 star. Oh, sorry, the 50%. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we cleaned it up a little bit. I let my queen uh, go ahead and take some of these resources. So the queen goes down, it would have been nice to do the three star, but that's all I could get on my attack. All right, so that's two stars for the team. All right, you guys, so next up we have the uh, Aiki, Aiko, <laughs> Jitaro, and he's fighting general. I apologize, you guys, I'm always messing up names. Okay, but he's going in and he's, okay, he's not gonna pull the uh, clan castle troops. He's just gonna go full face. Full blast with his golems going right into the walls and he's gonna have his wizards take out the rest of these building structures on the side there. Now what's actually really interesting is he didn't even go in with his uh, spell, the lightning spell and I believe that's because with the way the heroes are now and just the, you know, the difficulty of the top base designs a lot of people are using, you just really want that extra free spell or that rage spell so people don't even use the lightning spell. But he's managed to get his way to the center of the base and the queen is distracting the peck as they're going to have to go around and take her out. The jump spell I don't think is going to reach the town hall so they're going to work their way around. And I might be wrong but I, I don't think he brought his heroes with him. And it doesn't look like he's going to be able to get this. So this might have been a rushed attack. He probably went in without uh, noticing he had his heroes. So that might have cost him this gameplay right here. But you know what? I could definitely see him getting a two star if he had his king and his queen with him. So if if any case, I think this was a great raid. He just didn't have his heroes with him. And he did it without uh, using any lightning spells. And he's trying to clean up with his minions, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So good raid though, good raid. Let's see if we can find somebody else that's going to do a live raid for us. All right, you guys, so we have Aladdin coming in and he's fighting Slim Pack from Mega Empire. So he's deploying three Pekkas and this looks like a standard go wipe attack. And he, there goes his wall breakers. These guys are gonna try and open it up for him and get through these walls. Now, this might be kind of risky. If he can get enough walls open up, then he'll be fine, but he doesn't have a jump spell. So this might hurt his attack. Hopefully these Pekkas can cut through these walls enough, but the archers are coming out of that clan castle and this is going to slow them down quite a bit. Um, and also he's going to have to worry about these heroes in the back because once he gets close enough to that town hall they're probably going to pull his troops away from the attack and the infernal tower is still up if he can get that in time. Yes he does. Okay the infernal tower is down. The queen is in range. Hopefully she can get it. Oh never mind. The Pekkas took it, took it down and these guys are going to go around and try and get this 50%. So, the queen's taking a little bit of damage, she deploys her uh, ability, and she, take, she took out the clan castle. Now, what's next is they're just really trying to get to this 50%. They might do it, they only need one more uh, building structure left to do, and they did it right before the queen goes down. So, good stuff. 
Okay, you guys, and that should cover it for this war. I want to give a big shout out to Mega. They actually took this war. However, I wasn't able to record it because we had a maintenance break and it took away all the replays. But you guys, uh, I really enjoyed this fight. Hopefully we can do it again. And this is Gadsen signing out, and I will see you guys next time on Kings of Clash. Gadsen out.